So uh, Miss Murphy's getting a clean bill of health heart-wise. Her heart rate's low. It's at um, 160 beats a minute. And also her blood pressure's normal at 160, which it just happens to be that way, 160 millimeters of uh, mercury. Uh, in cats, they've got much smaller blood vessels, so their blood pressure tends to be higher. 140 to 160 is normal. Once it gets over um, 180 millimetres of mercury, then we start talking about treatment, and it's the same treatment as it is for people, amlodipine, commonly called Norvasc, um, and it's twice a day. But she's not going to need that, so Ms. Hughes is excused <laughs> the twice daily yes. tablets that, uh, that that would indicate. So. Miss Murphy's in pretty good shape. I still need to get some urine um, to check what her, how much kidney function she has. I can feel also while I was doing her, while I was checking her abdomen, she's slightly constipated, which is... Oh, yeah, actually, yes, I noticed that the last couple of days, mm -hmm. yes. yes. She's she never used to be, yeah. And as the weather gets warmer, that's more, it's more of a problem, so she's probably going to uh. need some lactulose, some Dufalac, okay. just because um, it keeps more... Um, uh, fluids more more water in the um, colon so yeah. she can pass it more easily yes. the trick okay. is as we get into the summer she's going to need to drink more because of she her does kidneys, drink a lot of water because yeah. of her kidneys and um, to keep herself yes. cool and we're going to be forcing water into the colon so oh, this is okay. really the critical this time of yes. year is the critical um, crossover period this is when a lot of cats um, kidneys suddenly um, fail um, oh, okay. because they can't take the stress of the of the two or three things that now they need to drink enough water for yes. which is one of the reasons i like to check them at this time of year okay. um, if it's only have her poos been she's still going every day or only every second there was a couple of days i thought she didn't go not not to, and i thought oh dear you know but um she does seem to go mostly every day Okay, but um, as I say, one day last week or a couple of days last week, she didn't go. I don't think. And that can also be related to the hip arthritis because it just gets painful to get into the position to yes. evacuate fully. Yeah. So, okay. um, I think pain relief is going to be a. Um, we're going to be um, talking more about pain relief for her. We might go down the road of omega threes, which are good for joints and kidneys. Right. We should all be on omega threes, mm. unless you're going for surgery because it makes you bleed. Oh, does it? Mm, yeah, apparently. Oh. Um, and um, the, it's also good for your brain, um, mm. the omega-3s. Yes. Um, so we're going to go down the road of pain relief, uh, making her poos a bit softer so she doesn't get constipated because that has obviously ongoing toxic effects. Yeah. And um, we're just going to see whether her kidneys need any further, um, uh, if there's anything else we can do to assist her.